Some of the challenges Bruin Sip faced prior to joining Power to Prosper um, were just actually making the connections. So um, having the opportunities to connect with different people or building the brand the way we needed to build it, um, having an open, honest conversations with different people on what we needed. Prior to joining the program, I knew exactly as a nurse practitioner how I wanted my practice to feel. I knew how I wanted patients to experience their healthcare um, within Athena, but I really struggled with the business side of things. So I'm a nurse, I'm really good at nursing and caring for paid people and, and making sure that they feel good, but I really didn't know a lot about the business side. So in a lot of ways, I was starting to feel stuck and not really being able to see the path to the growth potential that I knew that the business had. Some of the challenges I faced was um being by myself and not being surrounded by other entrepreneurs, um, that I could take their examples of what they deal with and what they was going through and then put it in my life. Uh, they helped me out a lot, just being surrounded by other individuals. It's hard to just pick three valuable things that I've learned through the program. Um, I would say the first is that you have to have a plan. Just like any other aspect of your life, in order to truly be successful, I think you have to have a plan and work that plan and stay committed to it. And that's something that, from a business standpoint, I had not done with Athena. So that was one really big thing that I learned. Second, which is probably the most important, according to Miguel, um, <laughs> is understanding uh, the financials. And I will admit that because of my lack of knowledge about the financials and the fact that they just made me uncomfortable in general, I would ignore them, totally look at the bottom line. And it's like, oh, this month was positive. We're good, next. Um, so I think um, getting the, the knowledge and be able to dissect financials and know what indicators I should be looking for month in, month out, and even weekly has really helped me a lot to understand the business. Um, GLI Glide, that trip was amazing. My biggest things from that was just the collaboration, the conversations, um, and the connections that I made while I was gone, but being able to bring that back to Louisville and being able to tell people it's not about egos, it literally is about collaboration. So now it's just like, okay, partner with the right people so that we can collaborate with our businesses and move forward. That if you plan and write it down, then you can execute it. Rather than saying, I'm gonna do this next year, I'll do that then. If you understand the whole concept of how business is ran, then, um, then you can get a journey from it, meaning that is to tackle um, all your goals. And, and so one of the best things I got from it was uh, creating my growth plan. My name is Dr. Ashley Anderson, and my business is Athena Health and Wellness. I'm Keith Brooks with Longevity Power Wash. I'm LaToya Bradley Cook, owner and founder of Bruin Sip.